Hi, I'm Cindy with The Pulse. I'm here with Maggie Ramos. How are you? Hi, Cindy. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited for you debuting your art. It's the first show you've curated. How are you feeling? Uh, I've been nervous and scared, of course, uh, for the longest time. I had been nervous and scared about coming out completely as an artist. Um, some of the people that are closer to me do know that I am an artist in different areas. Um, I try to do a little bit of everything. Um, as you can see, I'm still trying to get over the word try because I do accomplish artistically things. Um, my spirit, my soul gets put into my art. It gets put into my writing. Um, I think that the writing finds me, not that, the, that I find the writing. Uh, it's poetry that just comes out. And you guys can always find it in um, San Diego Women's Magazine. It's where I've been published for the last few years. And what's your favorite piece to do, would you say? What's your favorite type of art? You know, I can't say what is a favorite because in my early teenage years, I remember telling myself I didn't, I had no idea how it would be or how it would happen, but I remember telling, writing a poem and looking at it and saying one day I'm going to, I'm going to do my own backgrounds. I had no idea whether we're going to be in painting. I had no idea that they were going to be in photography. And now it's a combination. When I feel that a poem fits together with one of my pieces of art as a like a background, um, that it goes well with it, I I I put the words over the the piece of art. Well, and I have another question for you. What do you want people to feel when they look at your art, or take away from your art? You know, people understand art differently. I think a lot of us know that, but for me, as a child. I was under the idea, maybe I was taught, that's the way I was taught, I don't know, that it was a waste of time. As I grew up, um, I say it to myself, art can be a waste of time, especially poetry. And especially with my poetry, I always try to give a message. It, it comes out, it's very, I'm very spiritual, so it's a lot of my art, that's where it comes from. I'll, I'm gonna say probably all of my writing, that's where it comes from, including meditations. Um, and that's just what, how it is. Other people inspire, inspire me, other people experiences, my own experiences. Um, I come across something and I start writing. Well, you're inspiring us. Thank you for having us here tonight. And everybody, you can follow Maggie and f follow her amazing art on Instagram, right? Instagram. And um, I do post a lot of other stuff on Facebook as well, of course. I do have thoughts and I do have um, other things that I, that I post on Facebook other than art, other than photography. Um, one of the other things that, I, that a lot of people did, weren't aware is that I, I love to cook. I enjoy to cook. And I do what I call homemade culinary art. And so you'll find a lot of that in my Instagram as well. I'm with DJ Mandy Mixes. How are you? I'm excellent. So good to see you. So good to see you. So you're part of this event for Maggie tonight. How does it feel to be involved? Uh, I feel very honored, actually. I'm a total, my daughter is actually wanting to be an artist someday. So when Maggie reached out to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I love art. She's a local artist here in Fallbrook. So it's just really, I feel really honored to be here tonight to support her. What's going on? Tell us about the event. So there's a lot of fun stuff including a very fun cockatoo I think is a type of bird back here it's singing around. he likes to dance to Janet Jackson by the way but anyways we're here at Atkins Nursery it's beautiful oh my gosh the the view is amazing and then we have of course Maggie's art as you can see some of it is behind us so so pretty and then she made brought in some amazing fresh fruit and she made the agua frescas it tastes amazing she is just all around like the artist the culinary she, she's got it for sure Pulse, I'm here with Victor owner of Atkins Nursery how are you fine thank you so great to be here tonight. You're hosting the event for Maggie. Tell everybody a little bit about this nursery. Well, I've been here uh, <clears throat> since 1975. I worked for Atkins. Uh, uh, I started working here in July 1975 and uh, became uh, the manager. And then Mr. Atkins passed away in 95 and I mean 96. And I bought the nursery. I love it. It's so beautiful. I mean, people can do tours and things like that. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect here. 
but we got more than 400 different kinds of fruits and uh, we were selling only citrus, avocados and uh, we had to diversify with uh, like semi-tropical fruit like chirimoyas, mangoes and peaches, plums, things like that. And you also have herbs, I saw some fresh herbs. And uh, a few years ago we started selling herbs. This is the end of the season, but if you come in the spring is when we have uh, all these things, different, different things. Well, and I burned sage, but I heard about rue, which you grow here, which is new to me, but I'm, I'm gonna get some rue tonight. For negative energy, right? Right. We don't need any negative energy, so it's Loving good. It. Well, thank um, you so much for talking to us tonight. You're welcome. Okay, we'll see you next time.